There are almost 1,000 unique items in Minecraft. Many players will play a world start to finish without even touching some of them. A player comes to understand which items are useful and which ones are useless. Well, on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, there are no useless items. Every single item has a purpose, and some of these are used in ways that are unorthodox. Since 2B2T has no rules and allows hacking, it opens up a whole new section of the item meta, with previously useless things suddenly having a practical purpose. After this video, everything you thought you knew about Minecraft's items is going to get flipped upside down. This is only a sample of 2B2T's bizarre item meta. I'm saving the most ridiculous for the end of the video. So, let's get started. In a normal Minecraft playthrough, you might craft a cake once for the achievement, and then never bake one again. It isn't seen as a very useful item for recovering hunger. But on 2B2T, it has a unique purpose. It is the only food that can be eaten quickly in extreme lag conditions. Let me explain. Cake is the only food item in the game that doesn't have an eating animation. It's a simple right click on the block itself. This means that the hunger recovery is near instantaneous. For other foods, the normal eating animation takes about two seconds when the server is at 20 TPS, or 20 ticks per second. However, when the server drops to below one tick per second, the eating animation can take upwards of five minutes. And that's assuming you keep the button held the entire time. It isn't unusual for players to die from hunger holding food in their hands, or being unable to recover HP when attacked. When the server is under severe lag, cake is a saving grace. And of course, because this is 2B2T, players have figured out how to stack cakes for easy storage. What is a novelty on your single player world is a superfood in this anarchy wasteland. Ever since they were introduced in the combat update, players have seen chorus fruit as a weird item. An item that recovers hunger, but randomly teleports you. Well, on 2B2T, this random teleportation is what makes the fruit godlike. It has two major uses, as the ultimate escape tool and as a way to phase through bedrock. It's common on the server to have your logout location trapped meaning that someone will build a massive obsidian box just to suffocate you when you log back in. Eating a chorus fruit will get you out of this trap instantly. During combat, if someone is attempting to box you in, the fruit will let you escape. If you need to get down from a tall height quickly, the fruit can also accomplish this quickly. It's very useful, especially near spawn where lava casts will go to build limit. Chorus fruit are also used to bypass bedrock. When stuck in portals on the nether roof, a chorus fruit can get you down and allow you to phase through the bedrock. The famous wither inside 2B2T's bedrock comet was killed by using a chorus fruit to enter and then escape. Once again, what is a novelty on your single player world is a must have on 2B. These neon green arrows are not something a player normally makes in Minecraft. Why would you want your enemies or mobs to jump higher? Well, on 2B2T there's an unseen advantage to using these as a weapon. They can completely shut down an opponent's movement hacks. Here's how it works. The majority of hack clients are designed to modify the vanilla movement speed to allow players to move faster, climb walls, and do things that would otherwise be impossible. But giving a jump boost effect to opponents will modify their vanilla movement and prevent their hack clients from working properly. The extra jump boost, in addition to increased movement speed, can agitate the server's anti-cheat plugins and completely stop them from moving. In some rare cases, it can cause an opponent to disconnect entirely, and with long queue times, it will take them out of the fight. Now the effectiveness of Weeping Arrows all depends on which anti-cheat plugin is on 2B2T at the time. 
since the admin, housemaster, frequently changes anti-cheat plugins to deal with exploits, these arrows go in and out of the meta constantly. Overall, a weapon seen as useless in single player has a unique function in the anarchy environment. Mojang made crystals craftable just so players could respawn the Ender Dragon. They made the explosions powerful so that players wouldn't be tempted to just walk up to destroy them. However, when they were added as a craftable item in the combat update, Mojang did something that would have a major impact on 2B. They allowed crystals to be placed on obsidian instead of just bedrock. This meant that since they could effectively be placed anywhere, players soon discovered that they could be used as weapons. They were so powerful that they were able to kill full Protection 4 armored players in one or two explosions. Since the start of the Crystal meta in the second half of 2016, traditional PvP weapons are rarely used. Since the introduction of Totems of Undying and a better understanding on enchantment distribution on armor sets, Crystals aren't a one-hit KO anymore, but they can still kill unprepared players in a matter of seconds. Why do crystals do so much damage? Well, their explosions do damage based on the difficulty of the server. And since 2B2T's difficulty is set to hard by default, that means that crystal explosions do the same damage as charged creeper explosions. And since multiple crystals can be destroyed in a single second, well... I'll let you do the math. Mojang never considered that this item would be used as a weapon and is a great example of how an item with a specific purpose can have an entirely new purpose given the right environment. The carrot on a stick is very clearly a joke item in Minecraft. It's used to ride pigs and the item degrades quickly if you actually use it for its intended purpose. But this joke item is serious business on 2B2T. Why? Three words. Entity Speed Hacks. Most modern day hacked clients are able to drastically increase the movement speed of rideable entities. Horses, donkeys, and boats are all fully controllable under normal conditions. But pigs glitch out when you try to control them without the carrot on a stick. By holding one in your hand, it completely stabilizes their movement and they can walk up and down slopes even without using durability from the stick. Pigs are one of the easiest ways to travel the long nether highways quickly. Pigs can fit into two block tall, one block wide tunnels, while horses can only use two by two tunnels. When speed hacking in perfect conditions, pigs can travel faster than 400 blocks per second, with some 2B2T players claiming they can get even faster speeds. Keeping a pig under control for long periods of time without having it glitch out requires a joke item, but traveling all the way to the world border by pig is definitely no joke. Books might be a fun way to write things down in Minecraft or write fun messages for your friends to find, but on 2B2T, they're weapons. Not even joking, the 2B2T player base has found a way to turn books into weapons. You can't make this stuff up. It's called book banning. If you throw shulkers filled with books at players' feet and they pick them up, it can effectively ban someone from 2B2T. YouTuber Sal C1 has a great video explaining how exactly it works and who discovered the exploit, but the gist of it is that if you fill a book to the max with characters and store copies of that book in shulkers, anyone who picks them up will be sending too many packets to the server and it will automatically kick them. The only way to be freed from a book ban is to have your inventory wiped by Housemaster. <laughs> Yikes. Leave it to 2B2T players to weaponize literature. Apparently this exploit no longer works after 1.13, but 2B2T is still testing 1.13 plugins. So I guess we'll find out. But now that I've gotten through books, I've saved the most bizarre, ridiculous and straight up hilarious item usage for last. Now I know that technically donkeys are entities, not items, but putting the chest item on them is when things get out of control. 
In the past two and a half years on 2B2T, there have been at least three major duplication exploits all involving donkeys. But the most recent one was the most powerful. You would load up a donkey with valuables that you wanted to duplicate. Then you would use the entity speed hacks that I mentioned previously to get the donkey moving fast enough to enter an unloaded chunk. From there, you would log out and have a friend load that same chunk you were in. It would create an exact copy of the donkey you logged out on, items included. The cloned donkey was then killed and the process repeated. Nether tunnels were used to partially automate this process. So basically, 2B2T players recreated the film The Prestige in Minecraft, except that instead of magicians being cloned and killed, it was donkeys. Like I said, you cannot make this stuff up. When donkeys were first added in Minecraft, Mojang did not intend for them to be mass cloned and murdered for wealth and for power in a digital wasteland. <laughs> anyway, a few items I didn't go into detail about today were beds, hoppers, and ender pearls. I felt that my explanation of them in previous videos was thorough enough that talking about them again in this video would have been redundant, but I'll mention them quickly. Long story short, Beds get used as weapons and for long distance teleportation exploits. Hoppers are used to handle illegal items without reverting or deleting them. And pearls also get used for long distance teleportation. Woo! As I mentioned, this is only the surface of 2B2T's bizarre item meta. Minecraft items being used in ways you wouldn't even dream of. Don't even get me started on pistons or dead bushes. If you enjoyed today's video and want to learn more about 2B2T, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Also make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay updated on when new 2B2T videos are releasing. That's it for today everyone. Will you come up with a new use for an item on 2B2T? Well, there's only one way to find out. Stay alive out there, FitFam.